Forest Hills Elementary School, where excellence is the tradition. Here at Forest Hills Elementary, we pride ourselves on giving our students the best education possible. We have state-of-the-art facilities and technology, along with an exemplary faculty and staff who are passionate about helping our students grow academically and socially. So come inside and see what learning opportunities our students have on a daily basis. At 8.45 a.m., the student body tunes into the morning announcements to begin their day on a positive note. This broadcast from our TV studio contains the pledge, important reminders and special announcements, the weather, cafeteria menu, a fun fact of the day, and a picture of the day. We started the elementary studio in 2004. Our goal at that time, as it is today, was to help students start their day on a positive note. We have several student crews that rotate as anchors and assist with the production in our state-of-the-art television studio. These announcements are broadcast daily at 8.45 a.m. on the Forest Hills Elementary Announcements YouTube channel. The announcements are then archived for future viewing by parents, students, and staff. We are very proud of the professional work these students do. In addition to the morning announcements, we have multiple digital signage displays throughout the building conveying similar information. This, along with the morning announcements, sets a positive tone for our students each day. Now that you see how our days get started school-wide, let's take a look at some of our unique learning opportunities in addition to the curriculum taught here at Forest Hills Elementary. We are on the cutting edge of what matters and what works in literacy instruction. Programs such as ECRI, Hegarty, and FOSS all revolve around the science of learning which incorporates these five essential components into our daily lessons. Phonemic awareness, phonics, vocabulary, fluency, and comprehension. Here is Mrs. Diana Hopkovich, our Title I Reading Specialist, to explain further. Within our school's MTSS structure, we have a Tier 3 intervention time called FOSS. This stands for Focus on Student Skills. Every student in grades K through 3 are taught reading skills during FOSS. However, the students with the most needs receive their instruction with a specialized reading interventionalist. The curriculums that are implemented are research-based and follow the science of reading. These programs include ECRI Intensification, Hegarty, Phonics for Reading, and the 95% group. These programs, along with our specialist, provide more intensive instruction to help students improve their reading skills. Now let's see how our teachers and students put these programs to use. The letter is Long. The sound is Long. The letter is Long. The sound is at Forest Hills, we offer a pre-K program which consists of two morning classes and two afternoon classes. These students learn their ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and they certainly have fun doing so. We'll begin with Mrs. Mangus's pre-K classes, then move on to kindergarten and first grade. Our students who come to pre-K are very lucky because they get the necessary foundation that they need to have success in kindergarten and beyond. Our centers provide the students with an opportunity that looks like play, but it allows for motor development, problem solving skills, language development, along with making those social connections that are so important. The ECRI program that we use here at Forest Hills is, it stands for Enhanced Core Reading Instruction. It was a program that was developed and designed to specifically align with the Journeys program that we do use here at Forest Hills. It implements a variety of additional elements into our reading program like um, phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, spelling, things that um, build throughout the year and it adds to the routine that helps in the development and in the engagement 
of the students in our re reading program, which specifically helps the at-risk readers um, in our classrooms. In this word, the B says? The E says? E. So what word is that? Oh, B is in begins. The G says? The I says? The M says? And the S says? They all say their names. The word is? Begins. I just introduced some new phonic sounds to my students for the week. Um, you saw me relate it to our sound wall. Our sound wall is a new research-based practice that we're implementing in our reading instruction. Um, this is based on research and evidence, and I am um, applying this in my instruction systematically each week so that my students are familiar with the routine and they are able to apply it in their own reading and writing. Um, the best part of seeing these practices is seeing that they're working because they are applying these skills in their reading and in their writing each week. Spring Math is a universal core mathematics intervention program that uses paired learning to help all students gain mastery of various mathematical skills and concepts. I believe Spring Math has been a beneficial addition to our instruction across grade levels K-6 to in our building. It's provided a lot of continuity with our math uh, fact practice and daily timed exercises that we do along with the paired partner work that we're doing with all students in the classrooms. This program has been beneficial, I know personally, in my own first grade classroom because my students have strengthened their math abilities and also um, increased their fact fluency, which is really important as they head into second grade and begin to learn more math concepts that are a little more complex than in first grade. Spring Math builds the foundation for automaticity of numbers and math concepts in kindergarten. Okay, guys. Um, today, we are going to compare integers, positive and negative numbers. Now, remember the rule. Unlike most screen-based math intervention programs, Spring Math uniquely equips teachers to lead highly efficient class-wide math interventions. It, is all, it also uses paired learning to lift all students and build enduring mastery and math, mathematical confidence in the classroom. We've been doing Spring Math for approximately five years and we have so much, we have seen so much growth with the students in those five years doing this program. Science is an integral part of the elementary curriculum. Let's hear about some of the hands-on activities that the students look forward to doing in science class. This is Dash. We use him at Forest Hills in fifth grade to teach the kids programming and problem solving skills in a nice hands-on way. There are over 50,000 computer science jobs in Pennsylvania alone, and what a better way to teach the kids about the future and career opportunities. Hi, I'm Lydia, and these are my friends, Abby and Jersey. We are all in Mrs. Winner's fifth grade science class. We all really enjoy the Dash Dot robots because we get to use technology and do different things with them. The Dash and Dot um, robots are really, really cool because you get to learn about technology and do all sorts of fun stuff with your friends. My favorite thing is when we do the mazes because you can make your own and then you have to complete them. My favorite thing is that we get to work with our other friends and do a lot of, lots of fun things with them. My favorite part is, in fact, we're actually doing it right now, is where you have to put a marker onto a Dash and Dot robot and write your own word. Here at Forest Hills Elementary, we pride ourselves in growing our children not only academically, but artistically as well. Here are Mr. Jake Kearney and Mrs. Jenna Tully to tell you about their band and chorus programs. Our music program here at Forest Hills Elementary builds and spirals itself from the primary level until our students move on to the junior high and seventh grade. We learn the elements of music through play, various games and activities, singing, instruments, discussion, creation, performance, and making connections to parts of the world locally and globally. As our students get older, they may advance their music education in many ways through different ensembles we offer, including a third grade recorder performance and mini musical, and several choral and instrumental programs. We currently have around 180 students enrolled in our chorus ensembles and around 120 in our band ensembles. 
Students also have the opportunity to participate in advanced singing and playing festivals throughout our region to join other students from other schools in their love of music making and learning. Now let's take the performing arts one step further and see how some of this musical talent is showcased in our annual elementary musical production. Here at Forest Hills, our motto is excellence is the tradition. And one of our big traditions here at Forest Hills is our elementary drama production. We've been doing this here at our school for 30 plus years and it's a big hit and the kids just love to try out and be a part of the performing arts. We're starting already in May of this year for next year's production. Our, we will have auditions in May. We have 120 kids so far signed up wanting to take part in this activity. Unfortunately, we can't take them all, but we take a big group. We'll begin practicing then in August and run through practices until our show's in November. Um, this is a great opportunity for kids who aren't into sports or who aren't book smart. It gives them a chance to get involved in the performing arts and to better themselves in an outside of school activity. From the performing arts to art class, great things are happening in Mr. Ed Burda's classroom. At Forest Hills Elementary School, we, we learn about different artists. Learn about different cultures. Our challenge is to do our best. Drum. Next door to all of these little artists, one will find Mr. Shokoski's STEAM classroom. STEAM education is an approach to learning that uses science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics as access points for guiding critical thinking and creativity. As the elementary STEAM teacher, my goal is to give my students as many experiences in the areas of coding, computer science, robotics, and engineering and design as possible, so that whenever they transition to our senior junior high, uh, they have an idea of what electives they might be interested in to pursue careers in. Along these lines, Mrs. Kim Hostetler and Mr. Mike Passerb coach the first LEGO League team here at the elementary school. First Lego League takes STEAM to the next level. This is an after-school activity that allows our students to gain real-world problem-solving experiences through a robotics program. The team not only engages in coding and engineering, but they also identify and solve a relevant real-world problem and prepare a five-minute presentation complete with display boards and a model or representation of their findings. After months of preparation, the team heads to a competition to compete against 30 to 40 other teams from all over the region. They show off their robotic skills, present their research to a panel of judges, and they're even scored on their ability to work together as a team. It's just a wonderful opportunity for these students to learn and grow on so many levels. First Lego League is not the only avenue our students have to compete with other school districts in our region. Here is Mrs. Dana Bolvin to tell you about the reading competition team, followed by Mrs. Dina Mago and Mrs. Stacy Faith to tell you about Math 24. Each year our sixth grade reading competition, um, along with our fifth graders that join us, compete, um, read 40 books, and come home with a ribbon or trophy. Um, we have a great time reading a lot of different genre of books and discussing questions and answers as a team. This fall, our sixth and fifth grade teams took home um, first and second place ribbons. And in the spring, we brought home a third place ribbon. Our teams were very excited about their success this year. Hi, I'm Dina Mago. I'm Stacy Faith, and we are fifth grade math teachers in charge of the fifth grade math 24 tournament that we hold every winter over the course of the winter months during inside recess. The students are required to take a group of cards and attain 24 by using all different math operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We went from 100 students in January and we are down to our top five winners who will be going to the Math 24 Regional Tournament in Altoona in May. 
Math 24 is a really fun way to learn how to do math, but getting to the top 12 was really nerve wracking. We were versing some pretty good people, but making the top five meant a lot to us. We can't wait for the Math 24 tournament. Forest Hills is known for its excellence in the sporting arena as well. And it all starts at the elementary level. Here is Mr. Denon Carpenter, one of our physical education teachers. So at Forest Hills Elementary School, Mrs. Kerr and I are trying to introduce our students to as many different possibilities when it comes to the physical realm uh, that there is. We see them from pre-K through sixth grade each and every year and we are doing things like locomotor skills when they come in young to simple tag games to as advanced things as archery and strength training and team sports when they leave us in sixth grade. And really our goal not only is to make them love and enjoy sports and athletics and to help them find uh, really what they might consider their likes and dislikes when it comes to physical activity, but to, to send them out of our building uh, with a idea of what they might like to reach into when they get to the middle school level or even into adulthood. As you can see, Forest Hills Elementary gives students many opportunities to become involved in a variety of activities and programs. Our student council is an integral part of our school. This group of students heads up many projects to benefit not only their classmates, but their community as well. Our student council is made up of a group of 5th and 6th graders. We do a lot of things working for local organizations. In the past year, we've raised money for Easter Seals, Just My Smile, and the Women's Help Center in Johnstown. We also work on projects around the school, such as the mural outside in the courtyard and the flower beds that are out there as well. Our student council also assists in other things like promotion, our Title I meetings, they do with help with rifle team, um, fundraisers, the school pictures, guidance initiatives, just a great opportunity for fifth and sixth graders to ha have that leadership role here at our school. And finally, not only do our students work together to accomplish many goals to benefit others, our parent-teacher organization is composed of hard-working individuals who volunteer countless hours to provide many fun activities for our students. Here is Mrs. Annie Parlock to tell you a little about our PTO. Our elementary PTO is very active. We work hard every year to make sure that our students all receive a yearbook, a student appreciation t-shirt, and we have a large year-end carnival. We also provide each grade level with a budget for field trips. We do an annual food drive that is very large, and we come in and do surprises for the students throughout the year. The kids recognize us in the halls, and they're always excited to see us because they know that PTO means fun. In closing, we hope you enjoyed spending some time with us today. We are proud to be Forest Hills Rangers, where there is no better place to live, learn, and grow.